Hey Capricorn, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your reading. We're going to get started with an Angels of Atlantis Archangel Oracle. And let's see what comes out. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we have Sandal Fawn, Planetary Cycles. The planets are aligning right now, so I feel like this is highly significant. Let's see what it says. I don't think I've ever gotten this card. Sandal Fawn. Sandal Fawn, as the angel of the earth element, is completely interwoven with the swiftly flowing changes of earth's planetary structure. Many changes have been prophesied, and many changes are now occurring. This card invites you to look to your own natural cycles and see that you are an organic being living on an organic planet. If you are currently enjoying a birthday or anniversary, see it as a crucial cycle marker in this life on earth and ask what aspect of your authentic self you are allowing to emerge at this time. Sandalfon is asking you to reveal how awe-inspiring you are and how you can allow the angels to carry you to a new level of inner peace, letting your true self come forth. Chant Ha to stabilize the earth element within you. This will help you to ground yourself as you move through this cycle change and thence to easily incorporate the many changes. So I feel like there's many changes going on within you and this is why they're bringing this to your attention. But let's see what else comes out. This is, oh, sorry, I fidget too much sometimes. Okay, what else do we have for Capricorn? And we have Gemini. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Gemini. You could be, um, this could just be about communication. Okay, why is this not... There we go. You could be dealing with um, needing to have a conversation. This could be communication with, with you know, for work or with someone regarding a relationship. But there's a cycle that's completing and a new cycle beginning. So what else do we have? And we have the moon yeah so we just had the new moon in cancer and the full moon in capricorn will be coming up in a few weeks here or um less <laughs> so it's talking about acceptance and letting your feelings tell you like which direction to go um nurturing mother energy it's how you react emotionally um understanding why you feel the way that you do okay it can also be defensive energy so let's go ahead and see how this is playing out for you capricorn what is the recent past energy for capricorn and we have the lovers so Archangel Raphael, make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, and the power of love. And that is Gemini's card, so it's coming out right here. So I feel like there's a communication within a relationship, new cycle within a relationship. So cycles are ending within certain relationships with you as well. Okay, so what is the current energy? We have the King of Gabriel, King of Wands, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. And I feel like this is your energy. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success and genuine concern for others. So I feel like this is really you wanting to to go after what you're passionate about. I feel like there is a lot of pas passion in this relationship. I also feel this like nurturing energy where you're wanting to take care of um, your partner. So there could be, you know, illness or um, it could be even in financial matters. There's this real need to want to take care of, okay, which is beautiful. What's the challenge here? Let's make room. What's the challenge here for Capricorn? Show me the challenge. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you as well. So I feel like that's 
the issue here. I feel like you're in an energy of wanting to take care of someone, but you need to take care of yourself first. So it says mature, practical, generous, happy, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. And so that's what I'm getting here is that, you know, there's a need to take care of yourself, even if this other partner is in need, like ill or um, can't help themselves in a certain situation, you still have to care for yourself first and then you're able to nurture others. Okay, so what do we have as the advice for Capricorn? We have the Seven of Ariel, Seven of Pentacles. You have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So I feel like... Um, Spirit is saying that, you know, you're doing the right thing. You just have to overcome this challenge of putting others' needs before your own. Okay. What is the outcome here in this situation? And we have the Eight of Ariel. So I definitely feel like all of your hard work is being recognized, even if. There is no acknowledgement. I feel like your partner is fully um, grateful. And I feel like, um, you know, sometimes it's just things get left unsaid. Um, but they may really need you at this time. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Raphael, the Ace of Cups. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, and deep and lasting spiritual insights. So... I feel like this is creating a new cycle and I feel like there's this expansion when it comes to your compassion for others, but you have to have compassion for yourself. This is also about self-love and and being giving yourself the love that you would ask of another, you know? And then it's like um this person will either rise to the occasion or not, right? So I feel like you're doing the right thing and this is also creating good karma for you. Okay, so show me that lovers. Why do we have the lovers here? And we have the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I mean, just looking at this, it looks like there's been a cycle of um, not equal give and take for a while. And I'm almost getting like, um, a partner that has mental anxiety, has emotional issues, and I feel like you've st stood by them no matter what. And I feel like this is going to end up paying off for you as far as it's not going to feel like wasted time. Regardless if this relationship turns, you know, turns out or not, um, I feel like it's just taught you a lot about compassion and the need to nurture yourself at, before you nurture others. Okay, so why is this King of Wands here? And we have the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, there is a little bit of saving the day for this person. And maybe you need to allow them to save themselves. Um, but if this is a long-standing commitment, I do feel like, you know, there are times where, you know, you need each other. And so I feel like, um, you know, because a lot of times the Knight of Swords represents, you know, like um, that knight in shining armor coming to save the day. And that may be you at this time. But I feel like there will be a time where the favor will be returned. Or maybe already has. I don't know. So why is this Queen of Pentacles here? And we have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like this is really... It's like... This reminds me of the thorns. The crown of thorns that, that Jesus wore on the cross. So I feel like this is... You know, it's kind of like your cross to bear, but it's not. So I feel like this is you needing to set certain boundaries and understand that you have to nurture yourself first. Okay, so why is this Seven of Pentacles here as the advice? And we have the Hierophant. So yeah, I feel like this is part of a long-standing relationship, this 
this investment in long term and longevity for the relationship. And, you know, it's just equal give and take, but sometimes one needs more than the other. It just can't go on forever and you have to still put yourself first. So why is this Eight of Pentacles here as the outcome? And we have the Six of Wands. So yeah, I do feel like ultimately this is taking you to a new level. And I feel like that's what this Planetary Cycles is about. Let's go ahead and clarify that Ace of Cups as the overall, and we have the hangman. So yeah, it's bringing you a sense of enlightenment. This is um, teaching you how to surrender to the divine, surrender your concerns, surrender your um, misgivings, and definitely um, learning to nurture yourself. The bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this is just Spirit's way of saying, what was said is true. What what was said was true. It's a challenge, but it's the truth. Okay, so let's get some guidance here. What guidance do we have for Capricorn? Abundance. I am blessed with and thankful for the abundance in my life. What else? We have welcome. When I dream, I invite limitless magic into my life and I welcome my spirit guides to show up in wondrous and unexpected ways. So I, I don't know why, but I'm getting this strong sense of a lot of prayers that have been going up. And I feel like this is spirit saying your prayers are being acknowledged and answered. And I feel like you've been praying for this for your partner like really laying hands on them, whatever it is that you're doing to really um, bring about healing for whatever they're going through. Physically, emotionally, mentally, ask for help. I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. Yes, ask for help. Those are the prayers that I, I pictured you um, professing. So those are the messages that came through for you, Capricorn. This is a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.